How's it going folks? It's Lobo and Jesus Christ, it's been almost three months at this point, but goddamn, here we are with yet another episode of Daredevil. Finally gonna close off the season in about two episodes, so we're nearly there. I was nearly there all this time ago, and I just, I could have made the leap to get to the final episode of the season, and I was just like, nah, I'm gonna wait 90 days, so sorry about that. But anyway, here we are, back on track with Daredevil. I might have mentioned it, I don't know, because I'm recording this. And a weird time before I'm recording House of the Dragon, which I'm going to release this video afterwards. So again, as I was saying, it's a little bit trippy. But essentially what I'm doing is at the very least, I'm going to do two episodes of Daredevil a week, plus a House of the Dragon series reaction, plus one movie reaction. So if you're interested in any of that, you can find it in the description, such as the previous episodes of this, two Daredevil, two House of the Dragons. My new playlist will also be in the description. And of course, my movie reaction playlist and that i can tell you is going to primarily consist of x-men i'm going all the way to logan these next couple weeks or next few several actually because there is quite a few more movies i have to watch the next one being the last stand i believe the third one i've watched two so far if you haven't watched those again you can find them in the description but i'm going to catch up with my x-men reactions before I jump into any other sort of movie reactions. I just really want to bang out these X-Men ones. So that is the trajectory of where we're going with this. But anyway, here we are with Daredevil. And I'm just super pumped to get back into this world and this super gritty thing that we're lacking in the superhero genre nowadays. I know we're semi-exploring it, but not to the degree of this. So I very much miss this. And two final things before I begin really shortly. If I'm sweating a lot, I apologize. It's like 90 degrees out and I can't have an AC or a fan on or else my mic is going to have a shit ton of interference. So I'm sorry if I'm sweating. It's so goddamn hot, but I'm trying to bang this out. So just please work with me on this. And another thing, I know you guys are probably like, wow, it's been three months. Are you going to forget everything? Do you remember things? Are you still up to your knowledge on Daredevil? Are you up to date with it? Yes, I am. I rewatched certain episodes and I also kind of checked out my own reactions but i do have a thorough semi understanding of what just happened previous episode i know we left off with wesley and karen and which was crazy so i i'm up caught up okay we're all good so we're just gonna jump right in i'm super excited and again hope you guys are too and yeah let's do this man is that water in the background i toss it in the bay is that what it's called the bay i don't know the harbor toss it in the water that's the best place to lose a weapon I'm not a killer, I promise. <laughs> and I just know people find guns in the river and shit, so I would assume that's one of the best locations to throw a murder weapon. It also looks like the same location Matt escaped the warehouse in when he had to jump through the window. See? I remember this stuff. I told you I was not lying. I mean, she just killed someone. It's definitely not something she ever wanted to do. And the sound design, this feels entirely different than any starts of the episodes we've seen so far. It's a difficult thing, isn't it? She's imagining this. It's in her head. Or she's still dreaming one or the other. It gets easier. The more you do it. <laughs> Jesus. Ooh, uh, why is there a subtitle? Why did it just say Daredevil, Daredevil? I'm going to put that in my reaction because I can't be the only one that seen this. That is so odd. Because I do not watch with subtitles. It's immersion breaking for me, personally. Jesus. It's okay. It's just me. The Nick. And have you been hitting the juice? Because you kind of smell like a distiller. You don't want to talk? That nothing includes drinking and dancing? Or I use those breadcrumbs. Weed, pot, the Mary Jane, whatever the kids are calling it these days. I'm not sure that's uh, considered hard anymore. At least not according to Denver. He seems to be in a better mood. I'm going to keep digging. You can't just run around killing people and call yourself a human being. He's going to pay for what he's done. Yeah, uh, uh, I think so. Almost sounded like he was talking to her with you. Can't go around, run around killing people. I'm still around. If you need me, just call. You gonna pick up this time? Yeah, I'll pick up. Well, that wasn't awkward. Why are the subtitles? What the hell? Hold on. 
It has to be a technical glitch. Yeah, I'm just look at my screen right now because I'm not crazy. Audio, English, yes, subtitles off, and it's just putting them there. You know, I'm starting to feel like I made a mistake. I can never work here. Do you want to leave? No. Nothing happened. Oh, she's going to tell him. Okay, well, it's not really the truth I thought she was going to say. Because I said, if she said no, he was going to listen to her heart again. Is he still trying to call him? I'm not leaving. I'll make them suffer for what they've done. <laughs> Expect nothing less. Damn, bro. She's really eased into her role here. She's starting to love the power. Yes, to the keys to the SUV and my gun. And you let him be alone. Uh oh. Oh, Jesus. He's my friend! Hey, maybe this isn't the best time for beating your men to death. Knocked his ass out. Find out who did this. Blows hardest the closer you get to the mountaintop. Damn. The show has so many great lines, it's ridiculous. I know some of them are real lines we still use today, but they're derived from older culture, but still. The usage and the integration of them is always phenomenal in this. Follow the thread. It's going to lead him back to Karen and Ben. Assuming his mom still remembers them because I think she has memory issues. All over the city. Heroin. Pure like you've never seen. Drugs in the pack? So busy to check. That makes sense. Nobody look at a blind man twice. No, they wouldn't. It's cold. You should get yourself a better coat. How about you get yourself a better outfit? You're gonna keep playing it around out there. I'm working on it. He really does need a better outfit. I know it's coming within like the next two episodes, 100%. He went out to St. Benefit. How? It's just a feeling. Posted yourself on the net. Don't need me. No one believe me when I start digging. The devil of Hell's Kitchen. You're working with that prick that blew up half the city? You read what's in there. He didn't do it. Remember what I said when I came in into Lehman and Zach to discuss the case? About how you used to have a soul? That wasn't just a jab, Marcy. They're gonna get what's coming to them. And they're gonna be some hard questions about how much Lehman and Zach knew and when they knew it. This is your chance to get out in front of that. That's what Foggy does best. He persuades. I mean, he's a lawyer after all. I don't know why, but I love that shot. <laughs> I don't know, it was so good for some reason. Knew he'd do that. Now all he has to do is follow. <laughs> With the subtle theme in the back. Well, shit. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> I love when Matt does parkour. I wonder, does he retrieve his cane or does he have a bunch of them? Because he always tosses them and starts running and doing shit. So does he have a bunch of spare canes? I think it would make sense. Or walking sticks. Well, this is what peak human looks like. Assassin's Creed New York. <laughs> that was sexy. No reason to go that hard, but awesome. Jesus Christ, dude. Imagine this at nighttime and he had his actual suit on. He actually caught up to a car. Remember that knock. Yeah, he's smiling. He's internalizing it. God, I 
fucking love this show, bro. <laughs> I should not have taken a three month break. Ah, oh, I'm such a lazy bastard. sell papers it's sexy you sound like a whore well i learned how to be one from you i get lucky so fisk is leaving a trail of bodies and if we don't stop wilson now, fisk is spending millions of dollars trying to save this city you know what forget about the suspension clear out your office i'm done trying to help you this guy would rather work for j jonah jameson if i was going to be a journalist Why does she do that to her employees? Take their eyesight? Is it so they can't report anything? Go to the cops or whatnot? That's just what I'm gonna come to the conclusion of. Exit. Thank you, subtitles. So weird how it only does words. It's not the dialogue and I can't shut it off. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> <laughs> go look for your friend go ahead it's literally like an arkham game they look for their buddy and then you take him out of the same exact spot what's he looking for are they like zombies or something i'm so confused Damn, Madam Gal's got wheels. <laughs> How the fuck can you hit that, bro? <laughs> uh, literally, how are you supposed to hit him when he's doing that shit? Something beyond the distractions of your world. You have taken that from them. Tell me about Fisk. Okay. There has to be some sort of secret order or whatever. Nobu, Stick, the big dude with the dragon voice. That one episode. Nice. I didn't kill Detective Blake or shoot those cops. I'm not the bad guy. Then what are you? I'm Vengeance. You're supposed to do a name job. Anytime a criminal's like, the hell are you supposed to be? You're supposed to say something, bro. Nah, it's all good. He doesn't quite know yet. If he finds out what we did, this isn't gonna matter. Wizards I know it. Where the hell are you going? I will visit my homeland and reflect upon the future. Wait, you think I'm gonna just? Yeah, she she's gone. <laughs> you never needed that man. You never needed that paper. You only ever needed a story. Go tell it. Not the paper I fell in love with. Anytime somebody walks by themselves, I get nervous. Oh, no. Is Fisk gonna pull up? Explains a lot. I don't know. There's people around. I'm gonna write about all of it. It, it has to. Just, I have such a bad feeling. I'll send you the link when it's up. Tell you in the morning. Okay. Good night. If it shows him again in the car, that means something's wrong. Why do I have this feeling? I know how storytelling works. Sorry. Dude, my hunch is like never wrong. What is going on? Just what we are now. Three people who don't even talk to each other. I had a really shitty life. The kind where you, where you think you see the bottom of humanity. I can't do this alone. Work. <laughs> okay, we're showing Ben again. It's gonna be somebody in here. Oh, I'm just waiting for it. I told you, my intuition is never wrong. Is 
somebody behind him. Oh my I god. But to have a conversation with you off the record, of course. You think I believe anything you have to say? Well, I I promise that I'll be honest with you, Mr. Yurk. I thought that your days of being relevant were past. And for thinking that, I I'm truly sorry. You know how many times people have threatened me, get me to keep my mouth shut? So I am not here to threaten you. I'm here to kill you. <laughs> Is Mac gonna show up? Alright, well, there was episode 12. What an episode to get back to after my three-month break that I took for an unknown reason that I can't still... I still cannot specify. It just so happens that I'm like, oh, I'll watch it tomorrow. And then it turns into the next day. And the next day and the next day and yada, yada, yada. We know the story, but just... I shouldn't have done this leading up to the season finale, which is going to be next episode, I saw sort of the inclination of things. The whole series, every episode I've somewhat mentioned is that it just, it keeps piling on and on and on. You just see the trajectory of everything leading up in drama for drama's sake, getting really good, getting really sort of spicy, if you want to say that. It's just very impactful and it's full of a lot of great storytelling and you can really see it tacking on to where it's leading to the ultimate climax point and i sense that last episode when we had karen killing wesley and then i just was like <laughs> a 90 day break so again i'm sorry for that but i rewatched the episode so i'm still generally aware and i was this episode but it's very unfortunate what happened to ben but again as i said you could somewhat see it coming throughout the camera shots there's certain ways that you can somewhat identify something bad is going to occur for me when i look in a specific scene let's say it's a character like karen or ben because they tend to get abducted or put in harm's way when you see them walking and it's a sort of conversation going back and forth back and forth you sort of just look in the background do i notice any cars do i notice people do i see anything going on are they alone certain things like that make me or at least suggest to me that something bad is going to occur and i constantly felt it in the scene with ben and karen when they were on the phone i thought someone was gonna either be in ben's car or pull up and throw him in a van or something like that but it turns out wilson fisk was waiting for him in his home which was i in the back of my mind i'm like ben could possibly die here but then i was like i don't know if i buy it just because he's such a great character and well well it's not that he's a great character he is a really good character but it's just I don't know. It's like sometimes you just can't buy it. Like, I don't buy it. I don't buy that this is the end for said character. But again, it just makes complete sense. One of the things that, which I've loved about this series so far is death. I know that sounds morbid and terrible, but it's true. When they'll, I've watched very few shows, so this is going to be a very short list. But for example, throughout my lifetime, some really great shows that I've watched did not sort of refrain from killing off characters when it serviced the plot game of thrones walking dead breaking bad but i will admit uh walking dead overstayed is welcome in my opinion but the amount of characters that they just killed for just drama and subverting expectations and all that I, I stopped watching about halfway through the series but that's just something else entirely different but as i was saying with killing off characters it works wonders when it services the story and here it clearly did like as i was saying in this episode 
Wilson Fisk is going to follow the thread through his mother to find out who was there that night and how they connect to Wesley. And it led him to Ben Urich. And then he was in his apartment. As I said, I've got a bad feeling about this. And my feeling turned out to be true. And then he died, unfortunately. But it's something that completely makes sense for the sake of the story. It's not like, oh my God, he died. I can't believe it. Wow, this came out of nowhere. Like you could see the steps leading into that, which I totally admire and respect. Something I love about Daredevil, again, the maturity rating. So seeing that there is terrible, but it's also like, damn, dude, this plot is really picking up. It's like, so I, I'm loving that. But again, I'm sad to see Ben go. He wasn't a character that I adored and loved with all my heart, but he was a really good character. And one reason why I really liked him was because of his experience, because he was older. He was a journalist for many years, ran into a lot of situations like these, not quite at the level of Wilson Fisk, but that prior experience and sort of him mentoring Karen in a way on how to not get caught, how to do things appropriately, and sort of how to not be a rookie and get yourself killed. So I really liked him sort of being the voice of wisdom in a lot of scenes and working with Matt towards the end really started, I'm like, damn, they're really starting to get a good relationship here, giving me sort of like the informant vibes when it's the hero. Cause every, every hero has sort of like the inside man, whether it's into like a police station or whatever, they need a source of, they need a source of news and just information generally speaking. So I was like, Ben is this guy and then he died. So that sucks. But again, uh, really good character, but made sense for the story. So again, man, I don't know how this next one is going to go because it's hard for me to talk about the show when I'm like, I watched Hawkeye. I know that this is technically canon, but I guess season three is not. So I don't know how that's going to work. I think the first two seasons are canon. Then we have the 18 episode new season of Daredevil Reborn again, Reborn or whatever that's coming on 2024. The Echo series spinoff and Charlie Cox is also going to be in She-Hulk. There's so much Daredevil related content going on. It's like, how much is canon? How much is not? Am I spoiled by knowing that so-and-so is out in the world and then they're all okay? I don't know. I'm just gonna, I'm sort of just like looking at this whole entire series as its own thing. And then I'll come to my own conclusions about where this fits into canon or how this really just like works with the world that the MCU is building. That's an entirely different story. Also with them hopefully doing the maturity rating and really just making it as dark and gritty as this or else I'm going to blow a fuse. Because we already have people on Twitter sort of making fun of people that would say, oh, they dumbed down Daredevil or they made it family friendly. But I'm like, that is a completely realistic and also we have the right to do that. I mean, look at how unique this show is and how great it is because it has that matureness and it has that much space to work with, with that darkness and being like, hey, this person died. Here's a lot of blood. Here's violence. Damn, look at the grit and the balls of these people to make this show this awesome, so. I don't know. And as you can see, I'm like glistening like a glazed donut because it is again 100 degrees. So I apologize once more. And I think I'm going to cut it off here. But man, things are really starting to pick up. As I mentioned, I kind of thought Matt was going to tell Karen I'm the mask when he was having that conversation where he's like, I can't do this alone. I, I, th I don't know if he made it. He said he made a mistake, but he's saying like things were going to shit. And she's like, yeah, me too. I'm like, oh, are they going to have like a moment and sort of like come clean? But no, they sort of bonded in a way they hugged it out. But I really thought he was going to say something there. I'm like, are they, are they leaning into that? What is going on here? He's really sort of teasing, but it just, it never went there. So I'm like, okay, she has to find out at some point, but there's only one more episode left of the season. So anything's on the table. Hopefully the new suit is on the damn table because I I love him being the mask and stuff. But as I've always said, it's just a long sleeve shirt and a black mask. Like it's it's time for a good suit. Oh, this is weird because I'm looking at my camera on screen. So I'm like, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Because it's like you turn left or right or whatever. And it's the opposite way because I'm looking at the camera. And I'm also getting fused by saying it out loud, further validating my point. But that's... Just nonsense at this point. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I am like dying. I'm melting like the Wicked Witch of the West. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, I said this episode would come out after House of the Dragon. Yeah, that's what I said, I think. Anyway, no, no, because I said the, yeah, Jesus Christ. I'm getting so turned around here because I was like thinking back to my intro. What did I say? And I said in the description, you can find House of the Dragon series, which... 
yes you can it's in the description because i'm going to release this video afterwards even though i'm recording this a few days before the release of house of the dragon uh this week on the day this release or more so the week that this episode released from my series my reaction series on my channel you can find another daredevil reaction i would say maybe two more potentially and then of course next week next monday after the second episode of house of the dragon you can catch my next x-men movie reaction i know it's like future planning and trying to throw shit out there but i really want to get back to sort of uploading shit and having a bit of consistency and not taking 100 day breaks in between videos so yeah once more hope you guys enjoyed it. i look forward to seeing you guys in the next episode and again i apologize i hope you guys can understand that i'm lazy and i'm trying to do better as this guy would say again it's trippy to move my hand in here i'm just gonna point trying to do better and i truly am so yeah catch you folks in the next video